Hello friends, in this video, we are going to learn about the NAS device, how to create a volume inside a NAS device, then inside that volume, how you can create a NFS share or how you can create a CIFS share for Windows and then how to use that NFS share or how to mount that NFS share inside the Windows machine. So I have installed one, uh, you can say, a email letter of uh, a NAS device free BSD and I have one machine of Windows 7 also where I will show you that whatever the NFS share we will create in this NAS device how we can mount it or access it from this Windows 7 machine. Now this is the terminal of uh, the NAS device what we have to do we have to just check the IP address what it is displaying so to access the web UI we have to use this IP address either this or this because there are two LAN cards which are connected. So I will use the first one. So what you have to do, go to the browser, type 192.168.124.150. Now when you are accessing the free NAS device for the first time, it will ask you for assigning the password. So we will assign the password. So I will give some password to it and I will say login. Now remember that whenever you are accessing the NAS device second time, the username will be root and password whatever you have set now. So if I have given the password as suppose 1234, so the username will be root and password will be 1234. So remember whenever you are accessing the NAS device second time, username should be r o t root and then password what you currently set now this is the you can say panel for the nas device these are the options which are available this is the interface through which we can configure a nas device so what we have to do now we have to first uh, you can say configure or we have to create a volume so go to the storage option in storage you can see an option called as volumes so create on volumes or you can say click on the volumes option then click on UFS volume give the volume name so I will give the volume name as store select the hard disk I have connected an extra hard disk of 10 GB and that you can say size is available for me to create a volume so the NAS device will have multiple, you can say, array of disk connected inside it. So you can use any of the disk and you can convert that particular memory or the disk into a volume. So I have selected that 10 GB memory disk and I will click on add volume. Now you can see volume successfully added. So you can see the volume now slash mnt slash store go to the change permission option and in the right option select all this checkbox because whenever you are sharing you can say uh, or you are creating a share inside this volume and if this options or these particular checkboxes are not selected then the anonymous or you can say the other users will have only the rights to read or execute but not to write anything inside that particular storage. So remember whenever you create a volume immediately go to the permission option and in the right you can say option which is available select both the checkboxes so that anyone can write inside that particular volume so that write permission is given to them. So click on change. So now we have changed the permissions. Now we have to create the share. So I will minimize this volumes now. I will minimize this share storage. Now in the sharing option, you can see the NFS share option. So in NFS share option, click on add UNX, Unix NFS. So click on add share. So we are creating a NFS share now in the volume which we have created. So in this, what we have to do, we have to click on all directories option and whenever the, it is asking for the path, click on browse. 
expand mnt and select store which actually is the you can say the path for our volume and then click on ok now this will create a share and the path for that share will be slash mnt slash store now it is asking whether you are you want to enable this service so i will say yes so now you can see that in services option nfs service is now turned on okay but cfs is still off now we will create a cfs share also click on add cfs share same option here browse select the path store and then you can say allow guest access and say ok so we have to give some name i will give some name as storage and i will click on ok so cfs share is created it is again asking whether you want to enable it now you can see cf share is also created and the service is enabled so both our services are started now nfs as well as cifs so we can see the cifs storage and the nfs share what we have created is slash mnt slash store now how to access this particular nfs share so what we will do we will go to the you can say our windows machine so i will go to the uh, windows 7 machine now in this windows 7 machine go to the control panel option then click on programs click on turn windows features on or off in windows feature you can see once uh, you can say feature will be there called as a nfs service so you have to check that particular service and then you have to turn it on so you can see the option over here so you have to just scroll down S services for nfs expand it select this main option so all these options have to be selected so we have selected services for nfs administrator tools and client for nfs and click on ok so once this feature is turned on then we will go to the command prompt and we have to mount that particular nfs share inside our operating system so that command actually we are going to give we will just wait for this particular feature to get installed or to get turned on once the feature is turned on then only we can execute the command prompt so it, it will take some few minutes till that time we will open the command prompt so now uh, the feature is on so i will now execute the command so the command for mounting the nfs share is mount space hyphen o space a n o n which stands for anonymous then you have to give double ba double black backslash 192.168.124 sorry mount space hyphen o a n o n space 192 sorry double backslash 192.168.124.150 slash m n t and slash store and there you can see the uh, path we already know slash m n t slash store this is the ip address of your nas device okay so mount space hyphen o n a n o n that is anonymous user and the path for that particular you can say storage or that particular share space you have to give the drive in letter where actually we want to mount this particular nfs share so z and colon and press enter you can see now the command completed successfully now how we will check it whether it is mounted or not go to my computer and you can see now that the 
mount that is a slash mnt slash store that particular drive uh, that uh, share which we have created is mounted on z drive so you can see now we can go inside this particular drive i can access it i can create a folder inside it i can create a file if i want to create a file i can create a, you can say text file also so all all these things uh, you can say we can do inside this you can copy paste whatever you want to do you can do all the things so the right permission is there you can uh, if you want to delete that particular folder uh, you can delete the folder also because the right permission is already given to you so this is how we can uh, create nfs share and then how you can say you can uh, access it from the windows machine so thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe and like this video Thank <laughs> you.